my friends described this special as the boomerfication of Dave Chappelle, and yeah, that's pretty accurate to what the special was. Because the you know, this is very fucking ironic when this all st I, you already all you only got a few seconds of this, and you can already see that it stinks like some millennial SJW shit. This is not even snowflake shit. This is melted ice. All right, <laughs> and Dave Chappelle is cancelled again. So it's more like a suspension, I guess. And if you thought I was exaggerating on my previous Norm Macdonald videos, I, you know, comedy is not that, it's not that much of a, in danger or something like that. Well, Dave Chappelle can't fart without being canceled. So, <laughs> but I will even go a step further here and I'll say, I'm not going to bring the obvious line here that this is comedy and being offended is absolutely fine. Everyone goes through it, but you need to understand that is a me problem, not everyone else's. But I'm not going to go that basic. I want to go even further and say that Dave Chappelle is actually helping the communities that people say are being affected, right? Because a lot of people are talking about a transgender, but it goes beyond. Apparently, people also didn't like the Jew jokes and stuff like that. Now, the outrage is, well, it's Dave Chappelle is the number one comedian, I would say, in the world. So it is expectable that when sometimes people exaggerate when it comes to Twitter outrage, but this is actual outrage. Still, I would say it's a minority, okay? Uh, you look at a tom tomato meter or whatever they call. Yeah, it's gonna be... Give it like two, three days, check the fucking website again, and you're gonna see that the critics have a lot to say because they always do. Uh, but amazingly, every single best comedy show in Netflix have the worst critic review, so <laughs> it's on the opposite. It's, it's reverse, right? The ones that, ha that suck, for the critics, watch those, all right? So the closer, all right? As the name indicates, the last of the five, I think, was uh, agreed for Netflix specials from Dave Chappelle. It was a banger, obviously, it's Dave Chappelle. But he got frisky as per usual when it comes to the LGBT communities. And let me just say, start off right now, right? When it comes to the whole identity stuff, I don't care what you see yourself or... I really don't care. In the end of the day, when it comes to respect game, right? Let's, when we're talking about a game of respect, I'll play it and I'll say that you want me to treat you by Mary? Well, Mary, you have a big ass schlong, but fuck it. You're Mary. I don't care. It's respect and I fuck with that. But there was an article and this is what I want to dwell into, like specific examples. I want to make it a little more exciting, okay? I'm not going to give a lot of spoilers because, you know, I would recommend you watching that shit. But there was one article that I found really fucking funny. And then obviously, as you may know, when we were talking about stupidity and outrage, I got to include TikTok. <laughs> TikTok is the visual form of Twitter, but TikTok has a lot of everything, right? And again, it's a vocal minority. For the most part, most people are very happy about the special. It's something that we need in today's day and age, I guess. So this article specifically aims to talk about the case of a producer. Listen, I never heard of this fucking show in my life. Dear white people, all right? It's a producer that works for Netflix that, uh, or work, works with Netflix, that apparently is given this ultimatum kind of thing. <laughs> it's one of those situations where, bitch, you think you're too much. You're nothing at all, right? Because I absolutely fucking hate when people do that shit, like, oh, I'm gonna subscribe. Well, who do you think you are? Just, the button is there, go out. Buy. But the article itself is written in a very uh, creative way, which is not good for journalism, but hey, it's 2021, so what can you expect? So the closer is generating a growing backlash over remarks about the trans and LGBTQ plus community. Gender is a fact. Mind you, this is a little bit out of context when it comes to this, because they're trying to imply that Dave Chappelle has this whole... Like, they try to summarize his whole mentality with one phrase, even though he's been speaking for fucking decades. Right, so we know where we where he comes from, uh, but hey, out of context is kind of a trend nowadays. But even if you take it at face value, gender is a fact. Even if you, <laughs> I'm pretty sure even transgender people would be like, yeah, it's something that exists. People are mad about this. Literally, they hear this in quotations, they're mad about that. For those who need a little bit of context, okay? And without trying to give a lot of spoilers, it, it's just this little bit where he addresses that basically everyone is human in a way that everyone is born through like it, they come out from uh, between the woman's legs right and <laughs> i gotta read it to you i got every human being in this room every human being so he's trying to equalize everyone in the same degree let's say every human being on earth had to pass through the legs of a woman to be on earth yet now what is the argument for these people to have a problem with this well Dave Chappelle negating C-section, eh. which make up about a third of all births in America alone. 
Guys, I'm baffled. I never knew about this C-section shit. What is that? Even if I did have family members who were born that way, I never heard of C-section. Motherfucker, no one's talking about C-sections. Dude, what the fuck do you think? It happens in my videos as well. When I bring up a specific perspective, my video has to be limited. I don't want to bore people out with a one hour video, right? People expect you to talk about every single fucking possibility there is out there. Even though you only have five minutes to express your opinion, turning those five minutes into one hour. This is not from the producer, this is the journalist who wrote this shit. You heard that right, journalist. I, I, it, it, it makes me want to puke saying this word, reading this shit, but that's what we have today. Very creative journalist. Chappelle goes on to say, before launching into an, an anatomy line, that trans women genitalia are not quite what it is. Again? <laughs> Where's the back? Why is there a backlash to this? And this kind of is um, a remark, I guess, when I think it was in the United States. I don't know exactly what kind of um, institutional body we're talking about here. They were addressing women as birth giving humans or something like that. And this is where we step a little bit too far. This is not about protecting identities and, you know, gender. This is about just literally offending every goddamn woman on this earth which composes i i i guess it's 49 percent now of the global population to call them like yeah your birth gift god damn bro so all dave Chappelle was saying here is that when it comes to gender it is a fact that everyone is born from a woman woman for example that's what it is even though his whole argument was always based on respecting other people even if they don't look like you or believe in the same things as you do but hey Whoever is outraged with this, they don't have enough, uh, let's say, emotional discipline to go beyond and understand who is saying this shit. What, what does he come from and what does he really believe? They don't. And you're going to see it from TikTok. We live in an ADHD kind of world right now where an assessment in one minute is pretty usual. And another point that got people upset and to me, it just baffles me. How is this an issue? when it's just a reality. It's when he basically talks about uh, prioritization when it comes to what is the the biggest thing that you need to solve right now. And he used the babies as he may know, you know, a few, like maybe a full month ago or something like that. In a concert, he was, you know, spewing some really aggressive shit towards uh, gay people. But the baby also, <laughs> I know it was self-defense, but he literally killed a man. And I, I didn't even hear about it, all right? I don't care how like in self-defense and all that, you, you weren't to blame for that shit. I never heard about that, but I heard about his remarks apparently. They are more important than a man's life, even if he was acting in self-defense. Listen, Dave Chappelle is correct. And I don't know, maybe this was my personal uh, interpretation, okay? But when he said, uh, uh, you can shoot and kill uh, N-word, I didn't take this, I understand what the word means, but, you know, as you may know, there's a lot of people who have the, like, they use this word for basically describing a man, just a man. To me, it doesn't even matter about what, what, what it comes to the race. Killing someone should always be, no matter who, if it's a race, crime, or not, killing someone should be definitely a talking point over homophobic remarks and this is the biggest laughing uh this is uh i know the full name but god damn man if i say that shit in five seconds youtube is gonna flag this video right uh, right immediately but I, I guess it would be an organization against discrimination based on sexuality right so dave Chappelle's brand has become synonymous with ridiculing trans people and other marginalized communities people listen I never fucking knew that white people were marginalized, but <laughs> I guess we can ignore the fact that he made a lot of jokes about white people, but hey, you know, he's ridiculing only the defenseless, even though LGBTQ is not defenseless at all. And that's kind of the the main point. And I think Dave Chappelle himself addressed this and he said, you know, in a, in a, with the same intention that I'm saying here, is that when he makes jokes about transgender people, that's a form of normalization. But not normalization of the discrimination itself, but actually normalization of them being human beings. Imagine this scenario, okay? You are in a group of five friends, including yourself, right? Five people. And you joke with three of those people, right? So we're talking about four friends. You joke and, you know, you call them motherfuckers because you have like that level of thrust, uh, level of thrust, level of trust with those three people. And you all take it lightly because it's a joke, right? But that one friend that he thought he was your friend. Imagine being that guy. Wouldn't you start thinking like, okay, he doesn't see me the same way that he sees everyone else here. He cracks a joke with that guy and that guy and that guy. And they're friends. 
but he doesn't crack jokes with me. You don't have that level of trust. And people understand that for the most part, if they are truly strangers, they appreciate that because you don't have the level of trust to allow such a, let's say, environment. So when Dave Chappelle makes jokes about transgender people, understand that that's him seeing you and recognizing you as a human being and being like, okay, we're on the same boat. Because as far as I'm concerned, LGBTQ people are flawed the same way that I'm flawed as a white, straight male, whatever you want to label me, right? Everyone is flawed. So when Dave Chappelle makes jokes about white people, but in a certain way, he plays with stereotypes. So he also makes jokes about black people and, you know, women and men and now transgender. Maybe that's a really good indication that this guy is looking at you, not in pity, but in the same position as him. And imagine treating people like that. Like I can assure you, if you're handicapped yourself, you know this feeling, right? <laughs> imagine if you someone is talking to you, you're in a wheelchair, and you go like, "What's your name?" Like that's <laughs> don't fucking do that. That is terrible. That is very demeaning to people. That's what Dave Chappelle is doing. Is not he's putting everyone in the same level because everyone can be ridiculed. Everyone is flawed, and that's a good thing. But allow me to use TikTok, and you heard that right. I'm sorry, we're, uh, we're at that point where we're going to use TikTok. The other side of the issue here that apparently is an anti-Semite as well. Now, it's a, that's a new one, right? But let's keep it piled them on because <laughs> we have enough time for that shit. This video is going to be long. The TLDR is basically, um, yeah, in his special, he is blatantly anti-Semitic. My friends described this special as the boomerfication of Dave Chappelle, and yeah, that's pretty accurate to what the special was. Because the you know, this is very fucking ironic when this all st like, you already all you only got a few seconds of this and you can already see that it stinks like some millennial SJW shit. It's not even snowflake shit, this is melted ice, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and if you see a Gen Z saying this shit, then you know it's fucking for real. I also saw a lot of videos of UFOs. I mean, what the fuck has been going on with that shit? These guys are here. These UFOs keep coming to Earth, and it made me think of an idea for a movie. It sounds dumb, but hear me out. In my movie idea, we find out that these aliens are originally from Earth. That they're from an ancient civilization that achieved interstellar travel and left the Earth thousands of years ago. Some other planet they go to, and things go terrible for them in the other planet. So they come back to Earth, decide that they want to claim the Earth for their very own. It's a pretty good plot line, huh? I call it space juice. Space juice. <laughs> in case it isn't entirely clear for anyone about what's going on, Dave Chappelle is essentially making a commentary on the Israel-Palestine conflict and equating it with all Jews. It's a joke. <laughs> all right. Let me specify exactly why this shouldn't be an issue to anyone, even though you can feel offended. Like, I already explained this. You can feel offended. That's fine. But understand why this is a you issue, okay? Dave Chappelle, first and foremost, context. Dave Chappelle is not, doesn't have the fucking UN in front of him and he's trying to plead a case or something, right? This is him bringing a geographical situation as a joke, as people used fucking, as people used Iraq, Plenty of fucking things that were included as Vietnam. That's a popular one as well. A lot of things that are used that were incredibly dramatic, but they are being used as jokes. And these are not specifically to talk about the victims themselves, you know, originally at least. But the whole purpose of the joke, which is what everyone understood, but apparently, like I said, there's some melted ice that doesn't get this, is that the purpose and the context for this uh, statements. They're not supposed to be political positions. They're supposed to be politically sensitive, but they're not opinions or any kind of like argumentation to why this is wrong or not. This is Dave Chappelle using a situation to articulate that into a joke. Mind you, clarifiers wouldn't have done a ton to help the joke because it still comes across as someone who's done the bare minimum when it comes to reading into the conflict and yet still considers themselves an expert, but still. Of course at no point he ever says in that, that's literally the point. He's a comedian. How many times did he say, guys, you take me too seriously? You think too much of me. He's a fucking comedian. He's not an expert in any way. People go there to laugh. And if you use the Palestine situation to make them laugh, so fucking be it. It is not a political statement. There will be dumbasses that do that shit, but you can't control what people think of you. The same way that people could use this video and misinterpret you as well. They're not really jokes. 
Like, there's not really a punchline here, except for the potential punchline of get it, Jews are horrible. Let's be what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I would kind of feel like you're projecting a little bit. <laughs> oh man, Jesus. These people fucking, they walk miles to get to an argument, dude. Dude, your brain is as smooth as your face. I fucking swear. Hey, combine two in one and just go bald, man. But for real now. What? Like, this is not even a roundabout, dude. You, 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 you're orbiting fucking planets to get to that. Wow. I don't know. I, I can't believe I'm explaining a fucking punchline, but maybe it has to do with the fact that is making a joke about the fucking situation. Maybe that would be the fucking punchline. So this whole point, there's a name for this, but honestly, I'm not going to be pretending that I know the names of these, let's say, um, you know, this, these comedy theories, right? But the form, the way that he's doing this delivery is to make you believe like, okay, it's kind of a misdirection. You start thinking of actual aliens and that that plot line seems pretty normal, but then he flips the switch and he includes that as an actual situation that is happening on Earth. That's something that the most successful comedians do all the time. That's a whole punchline. And listen, you might not find that funny. I don't find Amy Schumer. And let me talk with you when it comes to this whole... I'm, a, I'm offended about this. I don't like Amy Schumer. And that she said a few things that I would cl classify them as anti-men. However, at no point I ever thought that Amy Schumer should not... Should be cancelled from any special on Netflix. No matter how outrageous and how stupid I thought her jokes were. Right? I understand it's her comedy special. It's her dojo. I'm not gonna remove her livelihood because I don't agree with something or because I didn't find it funny. In fact, if someone would try to cancel her, actually cancel her specials, I'll be the first in line to be like, that's kind of fucked up. Why would you do that? Even though I'm not a fan at all of her, I don't like her. The least I see from her, the better. But that doesn't mean that I have to expect her to lose her livelihood just because I don't agree with the shit that she says. I'm not her boss. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not her boss. So please, people, stop with this like, ah, oh, can't you fucking Netflix? How can you support this? It's a, it's a comedy special. Let's put aside for a moment whatever your opinion is regarding Palestine. I would hope you would look at this joke and say, wow, this is a really reductionist argument regarding what's going on right now that could be really harmful to Jewish people who really don't deserve it. Careful. It's a fucking joke. Do I need to put that shit on a t-shirt so you don't forget or something? Of course, it's a very minimal way to describe it. Again, people, do you think... <laughs> hey, yo, Dave Chappelle just released a special. How was it? I don't know, man. He spent two hours talking about a Palestine situation as I, I was like nine years old or something. That's really fun. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what we want from a comedy special. I still have a half hour left to watch. It's just that after over an hour of watching it, I decided, you know what? I don't have to do this anymore. This you don't, but if you're going to talk shit about it, maybe you should. The fucking th maybe the, the teacher was trying to teach something to their students, let's imagine the Milky Way. Maybe she needs to fucking know the planets they're in. Not not the ones that are like, oh, you know, the Earth is in it. I don't have to do this. Maybe you should. We need to listen to the other side. I did. And it robbed me a few brain cells that I'm not going to get back. The fact that he blatantly says Jews twice and yet people are still trying to defend him is horrendous. This guy literally mentioned the word Jews also twice a commentary on the israel palestine conflict and equating it with all jews <laughs> you don't have the smartest individuals on tiktok and that's the thing that i need to ask you now now jew is a bad term seriously here i was thinking that it comes from jewish and he fucking and he has the goal to comment 100 100 you literally said jews too the fuck out of here man but listen after all this it's kind of easy for us to start blaming the wrong people okay i'm gonna show you the true nature the true reality of the transgender community because i can assure you that there's a huge part of them that don't see any issue what he, what he did again it's all about vocal minorities this minority not being transgender is being snowflakes okay it applies to a lot of people as you saw that guy didn't seem transgender he could be i don't know but it didn't seem it. And that's a reality, right? It's the same thing on Twitter when you see a lot of like these white saviors, right? It's just cringy, but I'm gonna show you an example that not everything is lost. Your stand up can also be seen on Netflix. What do you think? Did the jokes cross yes. the line for you? 
Well, see, I have three dogs in this fight, so let me start there. I'm black, I am a comedian, and I am transgender. I understand that he's talked about the transgender community, and some of the things were painful to hear, but funny, because as a comedian, that is our safe place. That is where we are the safest on stage, where we should feel like we should be able to say anything. Nina Simone said it best. How can you be an artist and not speak about the times? It's like getting upset at a painter in his own fucking studio for ruining his first piece of work. <laughs> Bro, it's his place to fucking make mistakes. With comedians, it's kind of impossible for you to do the same shit with no audience. So you kind of need an audience. And this was not done in public. This was done in a theater. Netflix, you, you need to click it, right? So if you already know Nate Chappelle, why the fuck would you click on his special and be surprised about what he's saying? I can't understand that mentality. I really don't. But to watch it and be like, ah, nah, cancel this. You're the one who's stabbing your own fucking hand with forks and talking about him being like, being stupid. Like, no, this is a you issue. I, I hate the fact that we keep skirting around. So here it is, the hypocrisy. Dave Chappelle gave his friend, his words, his friend who was white and transgender, a job who wanted to be a comedian, an opportunity to open for him. Dave Chappelle is one of the greatest to do it of our time right now. That was a huge opportunity to, to, for her. The LGBT community never reached out to give her any opportunity like that. But then they turned and said that he was transphobic, he was homophobic, that all the backlash that he received from two or three Boom. episodes ago from specials. And she stood with her friend, the transgender woman, and stood with against Dave to say, no, he's not like that. And we'll, we'll, the LGBTQIA plus community bashed this woman so bad that she jumped off a building and killed herself. Dave was not responsible for that. So who is? Because Flame, we don't the know. Thing, Flame, I have uh, to say, Donna. we don't know. We don't know exactly why she killed herself. But anyway, go on. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll give you that point. All right. Let's not go too far. And the same with that, I would not feel uh comfortable i don't feel comfortable with people speculating why some trend like some transgender people can themselves because of their financial issues never fucking thought of that <laughs> but regardless everything behind uh, be, um before that is pretty much on point right people love to tag dave chappelle as this transphobic but he was the one who gave her a chance in a big fucking platform because if you open for dave chappelle goddamn dude that's opening for the best <laughs> and people got upset about uh, what he said even though he clearly his actions speak differently people rather judge dave chappelle for his comedian stand than his human stand let's call it that right it's a very cool interview i would watch it even more man but I, it's already 44 40, 48 minutes and i don't know how much i'm gonna cut from this video because i don't know this i don't know man i, I love this topic but i'll close it with this i guess there are people who use comedy to insult people and they use it as a weapon. But I can assure you that today's day and age, there's no one currently on a top tier that made success with that. Okay? Andrew Schulz is also incredibly culturally, like he is very culturally sensitive. Let's say it like that when it comes to, he touches a lot of cultures when he does his shows, when he does crowd work and stuff like that. But you know what? I always see the front row, you know, Indian people, black people, uh, whites, uh, Jewish um, Muslims, everyone having a fucking laugh at the things that he's saying against them, right? So if you don't have that emotional, you still need some time to learn to be emotionally disciplined or disciplinated, whatever the word is. I'm sorry for that. Take your time, but don't start telling like people need to cancel this and because this is his livelihood, all right? He's rich. I would assume that he's not going to starve, but it would be incredibly stupid for someone to dedicate 40 years or something like that of career like we saw with norm mcdonald's and just take that shit all away because you didn't like one joke two jokes three jokes or something like that i also like in his other special that wasn't really about a lot of comedy honestly it was mostly him talking his opinions and stuff like that which was about george floyd and stuff like that there was things that i disagreed in the situ in the situation that i didn't think it was factually correct it was a more serious talk so i had that position to you know think more critically but even with that i dropped five stars when it comes to his review on that show because i feel like what dave, Ch dave chappelle says is very eye-opening and even if you don't agree with it it's gonna make you think and understand the other side i fucking hate when people keep themselves in the echo echo chambers i'm sorry like that guy on tiktok we just saw and especially the commentary because at least he's comment commenting i appreciate people who show their face and say the shit they say uh, but the, the comments on TikTok and all these people who like to behind, hide behind keyboards and stuff like that. 
bro. I don't know, fucking... I'm not gonna say get a life. Just be a little more emotionally mature. That's all I would say. So thank you so much. I'm sorry for the long video. I don't feel like cu cutting a lot of this stuff because, I don't know, it feels pretty much everything relevant. So I'm sorry. It's the first longest video that I made, I guess. So, uh, But um, thank you so much for joining. All right. Joining this on a stream. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like solid videos and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Again. <laughs>